Man, what it do, world? It's your boy, the Toothless Wonder, back with another video. And I've been getting these clips <clears throat> online about folk talking about why they quit their 9 to 5. So that's my area of expertise. So I decided to hop on here real quick and give y'all some of my story. But here's what I think is happening, though. I think as we begin to arise or evolve or come into the knowledge of who we truly are, <clears throat> I think it's something spiritual happening, not saying that everybody, but I know a vast majority of those of us who, who actually know who we are, like scripturally, through history, why certain things are taking place, why the system is the way it is. Uh, I think we're just branching off of it. I think we, we know our value, not in the sense of superficiality, finance, but know the essence of who we are and we're refusing to put up with it just to barely make it. You know what I'm saying? You can barely make it not working. One thing about a Negro, typically a Negro know how to hustle. He calls homeboy up who got a project jumping off or, you know, he, he, he bring people together and get his cut out of it. Not even on no illegal type of tip. Negroes are just born hustlers. Negro, like, drugs wouldn't get sold the way they get sold on earth if it wasn't for Negroes. The, the, the Mexican man who got all the coke can't stand on no block and just sell it. He got to give it to a Negro. He got to. Uh, Louis Vuitton and all these other, that, nobody really knew about that stuff in mass till Negroes started wearing it. Earth is built on the backs of Negroes. Polo, yeah, white people wear polo, but but Negroes made it hot. You know what I'm saying? In reference to me, um, like the, my last job at the, I actually enjoyed it because it was purposeful, and it was actually in a field that I never wanted to fool with. Because when I was a client at these various places. It just kind of sired me to, you know, just treat me as a whole. So my campaign began to be get myself together and go on with the rest of my life. And typically that's the way the most high do it. I'll end up doing something I don't want to do, but my previous experiences now make me well suited to step into something I don't want to do and then thrive in it. You see what I'm saying? Um, and I would still be there if it wasn't for the politics, the lack of ethics, the financial appropriation, which put me in a position, and they basically said this without saying it, but my brain, my brain translated it. Whereas though, you know, don't worry about that. But then they kind of dangled this particular, uh, the carrot on the stick in the sense of maybe one day you'll be the supervisor, you'll have a salary, you'll whoop the whoop, you'll have a title. Not real. I don't care nothing about none of that. Yeah, the sweet potatoes. That's why I call it money. But I don't really care nothing about no title. And what's the point of having a title in somebody else's organization when everything Mickey flicked out? If I'm in leadership, which is not the first time I've ever led anybody, right? And everybody said, well, you know, the best thing since sliced bread, having never done it before, because I'm understanding it's not just a title. There's a great responsibility to come with this. I got to make the hard call. I got to think quick on my feet. There, there's, there. I have to figure out like the rules don't imply everything. I gotta make judgment calls, and you know, I grew, you know, except you know, uh, constructive criticism as far as like delegating and stuff like that. Cause I'm used to just doing a Kobe type action, but then once I started delegating and, and managing personnel, which I never wanted to do, and then what I end up doing just get them away from me and let them do what they or give them busy work. You know what I'm saying? And not work them. To, you know what I'm saying? They sell the best suit right there, or lead, whatever they call it, that, that, that they ever had. Everybody wanted to come to work. I'll check on the folk. Not just the client. Man, you good today? You need a break? Go ahead and take one anyway on your boy. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, anything going on? You know you can holler at me, right? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. They don't make no dumb. We're going to work it out. Because that's what I'm in the business of doing, working stuff out. But in the aftermath, I've, you know, gotten other jobs and solar, previous experience, warehouse, da, da, da. And true story, I've had at least 10 of these jobs. I'll get suit and boot. I have my tools. I have everything set up. Know what I'm doing. Boot, boot. Get to the building. Smoke a cigarette. Look at the building. Flick the cigarette. Hop back in the car. Go to the gym or go to the beach. My spirit not in it. And I, I, I'm really checking myself to make sure I ain't getting lazy or think I'm better than doing certain things and all that. But I swear. Now, mentally, I'm like, yo, I need this job. I need the money. I can do the money with this if I do it for this amount of time. Woo, 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 right? My spirit, like, my spirit paralyzes my legs. 
How they say in Chicago, on four them grade, my spirit paralyzes my legs. I cannot get out the car. I cannot move a muscle. Yo, I had a sanitation job uh, at a chicken plant, paying job decent. Um, the hours were conducive. So I'm like cleaning machines. I ain't really like a whole bunch of scrambling, like production work or nothing like that. So I'm like, yo, I'm good. Walked all the way up to the door. You understand me? Put my hand on the, on the handle. And couldn't open the door. Stood there like five minutes. People looking at me crazy. I try, let me try this again. All I got to do is go in here. Put my hand on the handle. Ain't nothing cause. I rolls on back. I went down by the water. Did some push up. 12 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? But in the in the midst. Now I'm thinking I'm, I'm all right. Because. And you know. Trying to hustle or do whatever I do. You know of course legally and ethically. And all that good jazz. I end up. Uh. Like coming or I had a financial resource I didn't know about or or opportunity to make money outside of a nine to five pop up. Then I get better at it. Then I jump to another one or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like every time I actually needed something, the ability to come through or I had the resource and didn't know it or, or a project hop up with my home board and I learned, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to be able to do it. And it's not just the work because I'm an amazing worker. I've never been far from a job in all the jobs I've ever had. Uh, uh, waterproofing basements, various warehouses. I always quit, and guess what? They always hire me back, yeah, because I work. And I, and I got a pretty decent disposition, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm in that joint. I'm getting my work done, but just raising morale, I guess. But now from these corporate initiatives and, 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 and to a great degree now since it seems like everybody fighting to scramble and scrape and c undercut and cut each other's throats and all that for for a promotion that's going to give you an extra dollar I'm not I'm not with it I don't even want to subject myself to that now mind you again I'll do whatever I got to do and I'm not too proud you know what I'm saying but I swear my spirit ain't my mind be in it my mind going up going in there my last job I only had one day left and I've been off for two days I could have reset myself and my legs wouldn't let me get out the car until it was time to turn up until I called my supervisor to come get these keys. Then my legs started working. And I think what's happening is God's people are coming out of the matrix, not just job wise, but um, like they're coming out the, the political matrix, the religious matrix. We're leaving everything that we thought at one time was whatever. whatever. We're coming out of like, let's say, you know, mainstream music. I don't want to listen to people talking about drilling each other all day long. Yeah, the beat hard, but I don't want that. I listen to Luther Vandross, you know what I'm saying? We're coming out of the way of we used to eat all the schwan and eating three times a day and all that. I eat less and somehow I got bigger. You know what I mean? Like, we really, like, yo, we come, everything is a lie. So since we understand everything is a lie, now we're seeking the truth for ourselves. We not, maybe we hop on YouTube and get some good information or, but here's another one, and I'm real big on this. I don't want nobody in authority over me other than Yeshua. Not to say, you know, I can't serve or, or, or support another brother or his campaign or whatever the case may be. But we all treat each other as men. Uh, this corporate hierarchy of, you know what I'm saying, social hierarchy, that never made no sense to me. I treat everybody like a man, <clears throat> regardless of what's going on with you. I already know how this stuff works. One day up, next to me down. One day down, out of nowhere, you you in the sky. You know what I'm saying? Up like a mud. So I think that's just mine. This is just a little quick one, man, because I got to get to the business, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all. Ooh, ah!